Well, hello everybody, Vicky here again, and uh, we're going to do something else in our hope journal. So we, I think I said that at the end of the last one, we'll look at an envelope. Now I did have a like a pearl, uh, pearlescent white one there, but I've changed my mind. I've got mine, and I've gone to the pink. So for no other reason than I just thought the pink was really pretty. So what I'm going to do is, I don't, honestly can't remember seeing anybody do an envelope. Um, I know I've watched in the past, so if you did this, thank you for planting a seed in the back of my brain. But I'm sorry, I don't know who it was. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm not going to ink this around. I've opened it up here because on this side I'm going to have it a side pull out instead of opening it up and getting it out of there I'll be able to just get it out of there so we'll need to put this one down here now I'm also going to do something with it so I might even do that now so I'm going to glue this into place, eyeball it. I always like to put something just underneath, just to make sure I don't catch any, any glue doesn't go full off. Uh, I could have licked the sticky bit, but yuck, glue will work. So there's just going to be a little bit of a gap on that fold line just so that it sits across the page really well. Just giving it a little bit of space so it can fold over without fouling. So now we've got our glue there. I will push it across to the fold, give it about uh, an eighth of a scant eighth of an inch and then just probably a little bit too far out so if I just push it in a little bit more a little bit more on that end I'll try again and We've got our flap down, which in turn will open, but we'll be taking from in here. I'll cover that. The smart money would have been on me covering that first, but I don't think I've been, been accused of being smart very often in my life. So now we've got that there. Now what I was thinking was, is you know last night I was showing you that I do a little, you know, build a little sort of like collage, an informal collage on the side of the paper. I'm going to do it using that it, that flap and on. So what I'm thinking of doing is just getting a little bit of paper and stripping it, make some strips. I've got this off the tops of one of the. 49 and mark it so that could go there it's just not quite the right I'll see what else they've got to offer how is everybody everybody's doing well we're well in this house we're doing okay doesn't it feel lovely to be doing okay so sorry for the dithering I didn't make a decision before we started but that's okay just let me find a paper and we will be on our way okay I think I like this one with this one the stripe there that stripe actually might look nice so we'll move this out of the way I'll get my guillotine out We'll cut this side. Just give me a minute and I shall get these cut.
I hope everybody's having a good day and are able to do whatever it is that they want to be doing. And the weather's nice for you. Celeste, I saw that picture of your place on Instagram and Louie came up and jumped on me and distracted me and I didn't write a comment. <laughs> Man, you guys, do. when you guys do winter, you do winter, don't you? But it's a little bit early yet. It's still only what you call fall and we call autumn. It doesn't really matter which one it is, is it? We all know what we're talking about. But oh, snow already. Or, or was it just sleet? I don't know. It, it looks matter what it's what you call it it just looked cold I'm not sure how we would cope with that it gets very cold in some places in Australia of course and in Tasmania on Cradle Mountain which is amazing amazing place if ever you go to Tasmania visit Cradle but it had snow on it um, Graham's sister still lives down there. Graham's from Tasmania originally. Hasn't lived there since she was 16 years old. The um, majority of his rallies are down there. So She put a picture up. Just trying to see what this is going to be. It's a bit awkward. As I'm flying by the seat of my fans, pants here. So. thinking I quite like that it's it's different I'll go ahead and get that glued down and cut the size and I'll be back in a minute so as you can see what I've done I just I don't know if something made me look at the clock then and I thought oh this day is going too quickly I've cut the strips off getting shorter as we've gone in and we'll cover up that envelope so that envelope starts off the off the stripes and that can go there now they're probably a little bit thicker than what I would normally do but I don't know why I just felt that, that was a good idea to do it that way and we've got some bits and pieces here you can just see where I've trimmed stuff off I'm trying to keep my bench clear so that you don't have too much rubbish to have to see around which is something I'm very guilty of doing and I'm trying to be better at it so that you can get a good look now that paper is always just put in there because glue can and usually does go everywhere so now we've got them down and we've got this in here um, that we just need to put a lid on it, a top on it, however you want to say it, but I haven't quite finished this one yet. Remember last night we talked about our butterflies, about how I ran them through the sewing machine. So we'll just have a look and see what we've got, to see what we think will look nice. So we we'll go back to our, our colour scheme at the front, which is our, our beautiful, happy colours. I, th I think I, I rather like that little sneaky one down there. Although having said that, that dark one there contrasts really well, doesn't it? That's a Tim Holtz paper, that one. I think I might be leaning towards that one. And here's one that's already been 
I must have thought that I was going to have it for something else. So I've got one thread there. I might be lucky enough to be able to pull through the second. be best just to leave it well alone I'll put those two it is darker though that's the only thing that worries me it doesn't quite match everything else but I don't want something to match it so well that you can't see it if that makes sense I've got some other ones here there so a stickers they're the same We haven't really decorated anything yet but I just thought that this could be a job finished Okay, I think because I've done the strip so wide, I think we might go with two of those. I did start getting my tweezers out and started trying to get used to using them for two reasons. One, it doesn't put fingerprints all over your little sticker. And two, I thought maybe if I started learning how to use it now before my fingers go completely on me, I'll be right. I'll be able to do everything with tweezers. <laughs> I'm in trouble. I don't know whether or not I just didn't try for long enough or whether or not I've gone, yeah, I'm just not going to live long enough to do that. Now, I'm actually looking for my stencil. Oh, look at that. Phew, found that easily. Right. Sometimes I go right through <clears throat> and use a new journal. And I do all the stenciling in one go. But to tell you the truth, I actually just forgot about it until I started. So, And I doubt that it, it's very subtle. I don't even know that you'll be able to see it. So there we go. There we've got a page. You see the stencil. I don't think that needs anything else. If anything, I'll come back in and put some splatters on it. And that's why I should use tweezers because I had a bit of dry glue on my fingers when I rolled that sticker off. So you need to be a bit careful. So now that we'll flip this, this one, um, we'll get it ready for decorating. So that means that we need to put... piece of paper on that Still got it upside down.
and let's see how it went. So we want it orientated that way. And we'll stick it on and oh look at that. Don't you love it when the plan comes together? Get rid of the pencil mark. Didn't have one on the other side. If I do splatters on that other page where the butterflies are, I'll probably do it off camera and then I'll be able to just leave the journal open for it to to dry. But I'm not I'm not hundred percent sure that's what will happen at the moment. I don't I don't wanna overdo it. And the old adage that says Less is more. That down. Make sure we've got it going the right way. Just look because I worry. Yep, of course I do. And then we're going to pop this down. I didn't ink around it. Hmm, never mind. And there we have it. That's going to need very little decoration on it because it's such a beautiful, a beautiful page. So now we've got our flip on. Oh, no, I know what I've done. Quick. Do you know what I did? Got to wait for it to dry. We don't put glue in this part because if we put glue in this part, it's going to close the pocket up and we won't be able to use it. And I forgot that. So just give me a minute while I get rid of the glue. Well, I was lucky away. I was lucky enough to get away with that, um, particularly not using this glue. Um, when it's not quite dry you can actually roll it it just you know like when you um, erase pencil use an eraser it all bob bobbles up not bobbles what's what I'm looking for rolls up beads up you can rub it off so I was able to so I'm just pinning down this envelope where it's not quite stuck it's just, once we stick the the paper on there it could lift the paper as well so we want to go around that envelope and you don't want to go into there if you go into there it means that anything you put in the pocket won't be able to go past here because you've glued it all up and I know that and proceeded to do it anyway so, I just did it to show you what had happened. <laughs> Jack and I can get away with that. Sounds a bit, it even sounds a bit uh, suspect to me. So right, we're back to where we were. It's all good. I believe... What's it? The Melbourne Cup was on yesterday. I think there were lots of functions all around that you could go to. But, um, I must admit it's never held. I think if anything what I used to like seeing is all the colours. The colours of the jockey strips that they wear. And just give me a minute, I'm just checking to make sure. Yeah. I like all the, um, the colours of the jockeys and the silks that they wear and uh, I do like looking at the fashion. Um, 
Some of it's really, really beautiful. Some of the hats are quite bizarre. That's all I can say about them. <laughs> I guess they're not my thing. So there we go. We've got our envelope flip. And we can get it into here. So we're not actually decorating our things at the moment. It's more of a case of getting the bolt the solid things in that we need to and I can't find last night I put this side for a little while and worked on my other big project that I'm really really hoping I can I can start putting it up on the weekend that's what I'm hoping because I think it'll it'll help people with Christmas presents and they're sitting right here. There's one, but of course it's not the circle one. You'd have to wonder how this happens, wouldn't you? Give me a moment. Oh, I found it very quickly, unlike yesterday. It took me what half an hour to find the whale tail. But I knew I'd had this in here yesterday. And we're out this morning. So I'm going to put that there. And it didn't like it at all. So. Isn't it funny? I can't find a single piece of paper I could use. <laughs> Not a single piece of paper, girls. should have thought of this this is um it's 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 thin and my punch doesn't like thin so what I do is is I put a little piece of something harder in behind it and that normally takes care of it so hopefully I can get away with it this time doing it this way which is going to turn out to be quite the right this is how you make problems for yourself okay that was all fun and games <laughs> not really so Epson the printer decided that it wanted to do a update. I said, yeah, no thanks, busy. Then, then someone come to the door, the real estate dude wanting to do appraisals. Well, the dog's cut sick, Katie wanted to eat him. Graham was out in the workshop and if there's a bloke at the door anywhere and you come in near me, that's it, you're gone. So he's sounding like a, a wild animal. <laughs> and this bloke's going, Oh, he's what you want. He's a good dog. <laughs> I opened the door to get a business card off him and Louie went out. So he had debts around him and he totally ignored me. And and, and have his um, due... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Attention. Oh. Then Epson come back and didn't give me a choice. They shut me down. So Graham just made a roll for us, Dee. Here I am again. You miss out on all the fun. So this one here, the the envelope, because it's it's not not real thick, I couldn't get a clear cut. You remember it went crooked a little bit, but then I put a little bit of card in behind there and made it a little bit bigger. But because it's only a little bit of card, I couldn't hold it. So just a little hint: if you're putting it, if you do like I do and forget to do it, just whack a bit of that tape on there and it'll hold it so that you can get it punched so that's it that was it so now we're going over to the page, the equivalent page from the back because you can see it you can like I can feel it starting already now I've got quite a few of these commercially made 
invitation pockets but the trouble is when you put it down it's sort of like this is too big for the page so what I thought we'd do is is we'll still go ahead and have it it's got a little um, gusset there so we can glue that down let's just hope the boys have had enough they had lunch of course and of course so hopefully they'll settle down for their, their afternoon snooze <laughs> which only very slightly on their morning snooze <laughs> I'm coming back as one of my dogs <laughs> my mother used to always say if I have to come back it's going to be I want to be one of Vicky's I want to be Vicky's cat <laughs> she reckon I spoiled it terribly so I'm actually, I'm actually, actually don't I? I'm back to saying that again I am going to cut that but I'm just trying to figure out where I want to cut it I think to start with we'll take the we'll take it at the fold so I've got a, like I said I've got some of these or different colours and I'm going to use them because I like them I like them a lot and I like this colour it sounds like a champagne colour so if I cut it there, it'll come down to there, so that'll make sense and we don't need to put a fold in it. So look, we've got this whole other piece we can save now. But what we could do, all jokes aside, I could take that up further and I could make a little closure for it, couldn't I? Because that can still go up further. So... Don't start measuring now. Let's just cut with gay abandon. I'll try here. Alright, that's quite a bit shorter. So, what I shall do is I will actually use some of that. Actually, where's my scissors? Now, I don't, I don't want it to be too big. Cut you there. Oh, don't worry about my head. Does it cut you here? And then it's all of a sudden I've, I've got the next line. It's like, if you cut me, will I not bleed? <laughs> like you. Oh, well, I think. Is that Shakespeare? I have to ask my daughter. There we go. I know I've heard it in a play. I think I might now and then we've got our little pocket there so there we've been able to use reuse repurpose something look at that that should make my little heart sing shouldn't it so what we shall do is we will make some just one minute just, just hold that thought for a second This little swing. I wonder if they swing those ways. <laughs> Naughty little reference there, wasn't it?
Okay, <clears throat> short interval for those who are interested. For those that aren't, fast forward now. I just said to me, if you cut me, will I not bleed? And I said, oh, that's a quote. I think it might be um, Shakespeare. So it just, it wasn't going to leave my head alone. So it's it's kind of like I butchered the, the, um, the quote. If you prick us, do we not bleed? It's a well-known quote from a William Shakespeare's Ver The Merchant of Venice. The quote proudly asserts the equality between Christians and Jews and all other races of the human beings on earth. So that's probably why I really like it because I believe in equality for all. And that Shylock was the one who said it. I believe. There you go. There you go. Don't say you don't learn anything when you come to this place. Whether you actually want to learn it or not, I don't know. But now you have that nugget of information. If I put you there. So what thought, my thought pattern is, my thought process, was if I put that there, then I can put this on it. But I don't know, I don't really like that idea now. I think what I might do is just put one behind it to make it a little bit sturdier. So I'll put some glue on it so when we're putting things in and out, nothing will foul it. Just give that little latch. A little bit more bite. So now we want our little... Don't get your fingers in the way. I tell you what, it's tough paper. Oh, blood all. I should have done this before I stuck the sides down, shouldn't I? Why didn't you tell me? I suppose I didn't know that I was... Oh, I can't be mad at you, can I? None of us knew I was going to actually do this until after the fact. But I still should have known to do it because if I had done a policy closure, I would have still needed to get in here anyway. So now we've got that 
in there. Nice and tight. And we've got a nice little closure. And then all we've got to do is just decorate that when we're up to the decorating. Now before I glue this on, I'll just stencil a little bit. So it's going to be there, right? Okay. We can stencil in other parts, it just won't be saying. Won't be a problem. Where's my washi tape that I was using? Which I hope everybody's I hope you're enjoying this. Um, putting the putting piece together, bringing peace, making it alive, making it count for something. This is a really, really lovely stencil. I have to check the Sue from Paper Inspirations. I think it got, got it from her, but I'm not sure. Yes, I think the making of hope is doing my my own um, inner self making me feel a little bit more at peace I really hope whoever ends up with this it brings them such joy too we all need hope Sorry, I had to really get up in there to get that. So we've done what I'm going to do is I'm only going to glue that on the three sides and then we're going to stick a a tag, a journaling card some paper to write on something anything we'll get to that when we get to that won't we so but truly I really really do hope that this is really helping you in some way other than just knowing how a journal goes together in Vic's house We um, are definitely a bit odd. We're okay with that. I, th I think to be different, I've been with enough people who've told me I'm weird for my life. I think that if, if you're lucky enough to be different, <laughs> enjoy it. <laughs> enjoy it. Live your best life being different. Because if we be different from the, the nastiness or the wars or the hate, we, we will make a better world one person at a time. I truly believe that in my heart. It takes one person to be kind to the next person who goes, Oh, I quite like that person being kind to me. So they will be kind to somebody else and so forth and so on. And when everybody's been kind to each other, nobody's going to be inclined to be worrying about skin, colour of the skin, or what race, or you know whether you're male or female, or heterosexual, or whatever. You know, none of us. It's time to stop worrying about what the person next to you is. Embrace the difference, I say. My goodness, it sounds like I'm having a you, you get your little nugget of information from the arts and you get your little sermon from the pulpit and I think I bet it might be time I got off. What do you think, girls and lads? So today, in this lesson, <laughs> that's what you say in the army, so you've just seen me put the pocket together. So we've got a tuck at the back, 
we're going to be able to fit some goodies in there um, and I never get on well with these little sort of tags but they do work well oh, there you go I'm just clumsy so we've done that and then up here somewhere we did our little collage which I think looks super cute I do like it it's a little bit different um, and then we've used a bit of the envelope as the start of of the of the collage I'm I may come back in and I think I might just do some flicks or have you on there and then over here we've always simply haven't done much we just put our thumb hole and we uh, closed up the envelope so that it comes from this side yep so I nearly glued that down didn't I but that is all fine now so what shall we do next time do you think we'll pick a page love this page thinking maybe maybe we could just do a little bit of something we might go for that page oh. Page, we go to the back and it will be in there so it will be the second and the second last that will we do so we'll close hope up for the moment and we'll get her out and do some more work on it within the next day or so I truly hope that you have enjoyed watching it's been, sorry I'm, I'm just feeling very calm now I feel really I feel really calm and happy that we've had this time together today thank you very much for watching um, be kind to yourself and please please be kind to the person standing next to you I'll see you next time bye